Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you an easy natural makeup look. I'm only using six products under 10 minutes and no foundation. If you just want to simplify your makeup routine, this is it. You got to try this out. I'm going to take you step by step so it's going to be kind of slow. We're going to talk a lot. If you're a beginner, this is also a really good video for you to watch so you can get the hang of it. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We already have our skincare base covered. I talk about how important skincare base is pretty much every video. So if you are not familiar, I will link a video for you to check it out If you want your makeup to stay on long if you want your skin to be protected You have to have a good skincare base before you apply makeup The key that helps me not have to use powders or setting spray or primers is my skincare base. It's super essential Don't skip out on it. I'm gonna bring you in close so we can start with the brows I'm using the make beauty blade line brow pencil in soft black brushing up these brows are gonna help you Identify your shape also. It's gonna help tease the hairs so that the makeup stays in place. Now we're going to take that pencil and we're just going to lightly outline the brow shape. I like to do this very lightly first. This is a really good pencil. Um, it can be a little bit thick so you have to go very light-handed with it. it. Takes a little practice. Really helpful tip working with any eyebrow pencil really is if you are making sure to spoolie in between when you draw it will help things look a lot more natural. This pencil is on an angle. So what we're gonna do next is kind of use that angle and fill in this part of the brow area. I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit closer so you can really see what's going on. But we're gonna go ahead and darken this up. I like to start at the tail of the brow because I want this to be the darkest part. Again, alternating with that spoolie to help make it look as natural as it can be. Whenever I do this technique, people always ask me if I have blading done or tattoo or whatever on my brows and I don't. It's just the way that you can apply your makeup. Does it take more time? Yes, it does. But you know what? I was not blessed with these beautiful, like luscious and thick brows. So we're just gonna have to work with what we've got, right? At least I have brow hairs. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lightly go further into the brow, really, really lightly. Definitely not as heavy handed as I was over here. Again, alternating. With that spoolie. Don't want any really sharp lines, so we're just gonna spoolie that out again and spoolie it out again over on this side. They look a little unfinished, but that's why we do the next step. Next step is concealer. I feel like if you're not gonna wear foundation, then go for a concealer. If you're wearing a foundation, maybe you can skip the concealer. I'm gonna choose concealer this time around. I really like how it defines the features of my face. This concealer that I'm using today is from Make Beauty, another Make Beauty item. It's their Skin Mimetic Concealer, and I am in the color 5 Medium W. I just recently saw Hailey Bieber using this, and I got so excited because I remember I tried it out a little bit ago, and I loved it, and then I stopped using it, and now I'm using it again because not only was she using it, but it's really good. <laughs> she just reminded me that I needed to use it. I'm gonna apply my concealer in these specific areas and I'll tell you why. Definitely under the eyes to help get rid of any baggage, any discoloration. I'm putting it on the edge of my face like this to help lift the eye look. That is an easy way that you can give yourself a nice eye lift without actually getting an eye lift. Go ahead and apply concealer here to act as a highlight. Really helps frame the face really beautifully when you do that. I'm gonna take the concealer also down the nose. I know this might seem a little bit much for an easy makeup routine. However, it can just totally change your face shape and I think it's absolutely necessary. We're gonna go ahead and apply that concealer right in the middle of the chin. Again, playing with the light. Now we're gonna put the concealer right underneath the contour line. This is gonna help define your jawline. You want your makeup to work for you as much as you can, even if this is an easy and simple look. It doesn't take much. Before that dries, I'm gonna take a flat shader brush. This flat shader brush is from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna take that shader brush and a little bit of the concealer that I already put on my face, and we're going to just line out the brows to give them more of a finished look. When I started doing this, it just makes everything sharper, it makes it seem a lot more finished, and it will cover any imperfections you might have missed when you were doing your brows. Now I'm gonna take my trusty damp beauty blender, make sure it is damp, and I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this makeup in. There's no really particular way of doing this in my opinion. I just feel like, I mean, just, just look how easily that blended out. I can't even like, 
that was so easy. That's the concealer. That's good concealer. Really no technique when it comes to the beauty blender. Just blend it together. Make sure there's no harsh lines and you're good to go. Next up is bronzer. I feel like I can't live without bronzer. That's just me, my personal preference, especially when we're getting into spring summertime. I love having a beautiful bronze face. It just does something. I'm going to actually use a powder bronzer. I've been obsessed with cream bronzers lately, but now we're going to switch it up because again, summertime, I feel like powder bronzers are just the way to go. I'm going to use the Sigma matte bronzer in dark. A good dupe for this one, if you're interested in a drugstore version, is the NYX Matte Bronzer. I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics brush in 124. It's kind of like a pointed fluffy brush. It's gonna help me contour really well. I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer and we're gonna work it in to my contour line here. Fishy face is still effective. I wanna do full fishy face, but I kinda will just kinda purse my lips a little bit so I can see the line that I need to contour. Oh, I look so weird right now when I do that. The best thing that you can do with any kind of makeup that's powder form is blend. It's all about the blend. The more you blend, the more natural it looks too, the more seamless it looks. I'm gonna draw that bronzer all the way up over here to give myself an all over color, shape that face, and then we're gonna go down to the chin area to help define the jawline. I'm gonna take some of that bronzer and we're just gonna casually go over the nose like this. I feel like a signature for me when it comes to summertime because I love a bronze nose. I try to emulate with my bronzer how I like when my face tans and when my face tans I notice that the darkest part is like my nose. I just feel like it looks pretty so I'm gonna emulate that with the bronzer. So that is the bronzer. I'm not gonna put it away though because I'm gonna use the bronzer for another purpose. I'm gonna take a blending brush. Any blending brush will work. I'm using the MAC 224 blending brush. It's one of my favorites. We're gonna go ahead and take that bronzer that we just used all over the face and we're going to just kind of go into the creases of the eyes. Wake up the eyes a little bit more. What is nice about this is that I know that it's another step, but you're only using one product. I'm gonna take a smaller flat shader brush. This one is 165S from MAC. And I'm gonna take that bronzer and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes like this. Everyone asks me in all my videos when I do like really natural looks, if I line my top. I don't. I think that because I line the bottom, it gives the effect that my top line is darker than what it actually is. But as you can see, I have no line on top. I don't put anything in the waterline either. All I'm showing you right now is all that I'm wearing. But I do think that this gives the illusion of a darker top line. It's like a contrast that plays off the light. I also like to go ahead and take that brush and just kind of go out a little bit and if you unaccidentally apply too much on top, just blend it out and it'll be totally fine. Since we're on eyes, let's go ahead and finish out the eyes. We're gonna take a mascara. I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, my favorite mascara of all time. Oh, we're not even curling lashes today. I think that this is not only a great beginner mascara, but just a great staple mascara to always have with you. Because whether your lashes are long, whether they're short, whether they're in between, it always does a great job. It lasts all day, it doesn't clump, it's cheap. And my favorite part about it is that it can really get into those really small lashes. Oh no, oh no, I hate when they do that. And it works so well for bottom lashes because I'm a huge fan of painting bottom lashes to really help open up the eye, make the eye appear larger. And just overall, it's better. I'm letting this dot dry so that I can spoolie it off and I'll show you guys how I do that. Great little tip in case you get mascara on your face. I'm gonna go ahead and put a second coat of mascara on the top and the bottom. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and take care of this mascara that's on the side of my face. We're gonna take the spoolie that we used for my eyebrows, brush this line away. Look how easy that was. We're all set. One last face makeup thing that we're going to do is apply blush. I love blush. I can't separate from blush. I could have made this routine just as simple as this, but I feel like blush, I don't know, blush is my heart. And this particular blush that I'm gonna use doubles as a highlight too, so. I had to include it. This is from Say. Oh my gosh, I actually said it right. Y'all come for me how I pronounce this. I know I've been saying it with an accent, like Say. -y. It's not Say, -y. it's actually just Say. Thank you guys for telling me and correcting me. Say has some wonderful products, especially for natural looks. This is their new Glow Sculpt Peach Glow Blush 
highlight universal makeup product. <laughs> this is what this color looks like. I'm going with peach because that is just the perfect summer color. I'm gonna take this Sigma contour blush brush and we're going to lightly tap and we're gonna blend this out. It's super blendable. If you are doing natural looks, this is definitely something to have and totally worth the investment. It's so pretty. There's a natural shine and glow. So it almost looks like you have like some kind of um, highlight, but it's not like overly highlighting the cheeks. You know what I'm saying? It's a perfect blend of highlight and color. Ooh, I just love how blendable it is. I'm so obsessed with this. I can literally put this all over my face. It's a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and just balance out the look by applying it on my temples. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> it just looks so natural and so pretty. If you wanna be more extra, take a little small blending brush take that color and apply it to the brow line, underneath the brow line, for an additional like highlight because we're not using highlighter, but you can absolutely take this as a highlight and it just adds some more color and some more sheen. So that was just five products that I used and you literally could be done after this. But if you like lipstick, this is the sixth product that you can use that's super easy and that's actually a new product that I've been loving. This new product is from Wonder Skin. This is their blading lip stain. I was so apprehensive at trying lip stains because I'm like, eh, is it really necessary? But when I tried this, I was like, okay, this is actually really pretty and it lasts all day long. I'm actually trying a new color today. This is the color Charming. What I think is so interesting is that it comes on one color and then when you wipe it off, it's another color. It's so cool. So watch how this works. It looks crazy at first, but just trust me. Like, look how crazy that looks. It's literally blue. I shouldn't have told you guys. I should have just been like, ah, I'm gonna put on lipstick now, natural makeup routine. You would have been like, this girl is crazy. <laughs> I just love how it feels. I love the smell. Their high-tech vegan formula hyper stains for a touch-up free color that won't budge. And that's true. I've worn it and it does not come off the lips. So I don't have to also worry about transfer. It makes a natural makeup look seamless. It's wonderful. So I let it stay on my lips until I feel like it's dried. It dries really fast, so it's not even an issue. I literally just put it on and can wipe it off. I take a little cotton round and look at this. Watch. Look how pretty it makes the lip. Literally my new favorite thing. It just enhanced my natural color. Do you see? I love how natural it looks. So that is all that I have for you. That was six products done in less than 10 minutes and no foundation used. I feel very confident. This is gonna last me all day long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and a comment letting me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. I love having you guys and I love being able to share these looks with you. So make sure you're subscribed. I think that's it. Thank you so much again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.